What is up guys, Piku49 here, we are back on the Desolation map today, I have a special surprise for you. We had a guest visitor come to Desolation to play, can you guess who it is? Can you guess? Yes, it's Mr. Dan Legs. he came over some PvP on the Desolation map, we had a lot of fun. In this game, we are playing 2v2v2, that means it's Dan Legs and I, against a Hiding Bear and Gamermeister, against... Risk and G's and bend and blow. It's complicated, I know, but you'll see as the game goes. 2v2v2, we are playing Capture the Flag. So that means, you see my inventory there, I have the music disc, that's our flag. Each team has one flag, and you have to keep that flag on your person at all times. In order to win, you must take two flags to the top of the Shady Oak sign. Super simple. That basically means you gotta kill one team, take their flag to the sign, and hoist it up there. So we're gonna drop into the food mansion here. We're gonna leave the mansion immediately. Mansions were off limits for this game because you could die in the mansions. You can't be dying with the soul on you or the flag on you. <laughs> so Dan Legs is on my team. He's following me. This is his second game, but I couldn't believe it, guys. He is so good at the PvP. He knew this map pretty well. Every other newbie to this map dies in like 30 seconds. Dan Lags was... He did a great job. I can tell that he's a, a true Minecraft player. Um, so, first order of business is to get some weapons. Dan's got a chair leg, so <laughs> that's all we got. So we're in this house. There's weapons in here. I'm going to do a lot of cuts. I can't show you this whole game because it took like 40 minutes. So I'm going to show you some of the highlights. So Dan and I are stocked up now. I've got a bow, some arrows. He has a stone or wooden sword, I believe. So now... Um, you know, we're working as a team. I take out the long range, he goes in with the sword. Look at that professional. <laughs> this guy is a consummate pro. I know that all of you, <laughs> every one of my subscribers, I know 99.9% .9 of you know who Dan Lags is. But for that one person that doesn't know Dan Lags, go check out his channel. I'll put an annotation. This guy has been doing it for years. He makes extremely detailed cities, uh, castles. Uh, you guys got to go check out his channel. He is the guy for Xbox. He is the guy, in my opinion. So I am so honored to be playing with him today. We're sharing armor. We're working as a team. Uh, we went down here. I, I stocked up on potions. I don't know if you saw that. I have all sorts of potion ingredients. I got redstone. I got golden carrots. I got glycerine melons. We are set. We are good to go. Uh oh. Don't miss the don't miss the sinks, guys. The sinks have a lot of food. I know. If you haven't seen my tips video, you should go watch it. I might annotate it right now. Uh, there's a lot of food to be found, but you have to know where to look. In kitchens, in, in the fridges, in the sinks, they're everywhere. So I'm gonna share some food with Dan. Uh, I have plenty of rotten beef. He can have the apples. I don't. I don't need that. Nah. So let's go down into a basement. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay, that's a little glitch. This is the demo, guys. This is a work in progress. We got some things to fix. Oh, Gamer Meister, starved to death. You guys are gonna see something here. You keep track of all these deaths you're gonna see on the screen because it's crazy. All right, one starved to death. I'm not even gonna show all the deaths. I'm gonna show a lot of them uh, just to show you just how hostile this environment is. <laughs> so we would go from a basement to an attic. Hiding bear. Blown up by creeper. That's the whole team dead. I'm sure they still have their flag on them, but they're dead. It's in my eyes, we've already won, Dan and I. These guys can't stay alive for more than two seconds. <laughs> so we're up here. And I almost die. Oh my goodness. Creeping. Those creepers can take you out so quickly. It's understandable why these guys are dying left and right this time by a zombie. You know, I can't hate on that because... This is a hostile environment, like I just said. Always grab the mushrooms! Mushroom grab it! <laughs> Mushroom grab it! Uh, okay, so, another death over here. He hit the ground too hard. Is that three deaths, I think? For that guy alone? My goodness, guys. So, I'm eating my poison food, because you gots to. You gots to. Look at all these deaths. More, more deaths. I need more mushrooms, and I need a bowl, too. Oh, uh, we're downstairs. I find a backup bow. Ooh. And Dan found a backup sword, so I want to go give Dan this bow, maybe trade him for a sword. It's not really a trade because we're sharing. Sharing is caring. I come out ahead, oh yeah, finally, I've been without a sword for so long. I've been using the golf club as defense, but now I got a sword, we're good. Dan's idea was to get on the roofs. I'm telling you, this guy knows what he's doing. He says, we're decently stocked, let's get on the roof, see if we can spot anyone. We couldn't spot anyone, but I say, let's go to the twin house, Dan. The twin house is built. For two people. Uh, we call it the twin house because a grandmother and her two twin grandkids lived here. So there's a lot of secrets like this where you need two people to enter certain areas. 
that's what we do. We get the food. I'm not going to show you all the secret stuff in there. I'm going to skip way ahead. So we're in a different house now, and it's time to brew. I told Dan that there's a secret in here. That's all I had to tell him. He went off, found it immediately. Consummate pro. While he's doing that, I'm going to be brewing. This is a very tough decision for me because we have so much stuff. I can make uh, health potions. I can make strength potions. I can make invisibility. Uh, I can give one of them length and one of them power. I mean, I have so many options. I don't know what to do first. Oh, well, obviously, first we're going to make an awkward potion. Duh. Uh, guys, potions in desolation. If you don't know how to uh, brew potions, if you don't know them by heart, you can't win the game. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm going to go with Glycerine Melon because the regen... Not Glycerine Melon, sorry. The, the gas tier. Because regen is so important, guys. Regen is probably the most important of all, all those that I could have done. I'm going to give it the glowstone. Give it the power. Um, if you don't know how to do potions, you can't win this game. Period. So if you don't know how to do potions, have a little... Uh, go to the Minecraft wiki. Have the screen open. But better yet, learn how to do potions, guys. Just learn it. There's no reason not to know how to do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm in here brewing. Brewing along. I think what I we're going to go for next, I, knocked it down, but I, I, I don't have any gunpowder, you know, that would be really nice to have gunpowder so we can drink those potions on the fly, but, so I'm just going to leave those in the bottles and probably do another potion here. Yeah, I just want to tell you guys, it's so important, so important to know how to brew potions. You're barely going to find a potion that's already brewed for you, uh, we're going to give you all the ingredients, so if you don't know what you're doing, how are you going to grab the ingredients, you know, you're not going to know what to grab. So this, guys, if you want to be good at desolation, this is your opportunity to learn how to brew some potions. It's a skill that everyone in Minecraft needs to have. You should have it memorized. There's no reason not to. Some things are hard. Right now, I can't decide what to, to, to brew next. I'm going to go with invisibility because invisibility is pretty strong. Here it is. This is it, guys. We see a witch down there. We don't want to mess with the witch. Dan sees a person. I never saw him. Where is he? Uh, I don't think he's spotted him quite yet, but Dan saw a person in that orange house, so I'm going in. Dan's asking for food. I, I have a little bit of food on me, but I'm getting I'm getting uh, really amped up, guys. I see a guy, too. I see myself, so it's time to... It's right there. I see him. It's time to go in. So I'm going to get up on this roof and scout him out, watch him for a little bit, see what he's doing. He's not doing... He's just sitting there. All right, let's take him out. One, two... Oh, what an easy kill! Oh, hiding bear, done. So right now, my heart is pounding. My, my heart is racing, my, I'm shaking. I got, I feel so good after that kill. Uh, we know there's another one in there. I think Dan spotted the other guy too. I wanna go in. For some reason, I don't take my post, I take my regen. That's, that's one smart thing I do. I leave Dan in the dust, Dan's eating or something. I don't even know where he is. I've just left, left my wingman. There's a skeleton here, I don't kill it. Watch the, I don't kill the skeleton, and I see the gnome. He has no armor on, I'm going in. I got armor, I have a sword, I have a great bow. He's got no armor. But this skeleton is attacking me, I should have killed the skeleton, I really should have. But uh, this skeleton just took a bunch of hearts from me, got me distracted. And here comes the gnome again. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm dead! How on earth am I dead? Gamer Meister, the guy who can't stay alive for two seconds, won the won that battle. Guys, I messed up so hard. I left Dan. I left my wingman. Right, he didn't know how to get in the in the building, and I just left him. Terrible. I didn't use my potions like I should have. I I wait so basically, but wasted potion. I could have been invisible the whole time could have waited, you know, f to to make sure that the, the coast was clear. I messed up in every way a person can mess up. But it, later in the game, I found out from Gamer Meister that the gnome skin doesn't show armor when you're wearing armor. What the heck? I don't know if that's Gamer Meister's fault for using a cheap skin when I told him not to. I don't know if it's 4J's fault for... Putting that skin in in the first place, why would you ever have that as an option? That seems like the cheapest thing you can imagine. We're trying to play PvP here. Or I don't know if it's my fault for just not using teamwork. I went I went Rambo on that and I paid the price. Never go Rambo. Right now I'm trying to get my stuff back as quickly as possible. Inventories are always full in this game. So whenever you get a kill, if you can get back to your body quickly, you usually find a bunch of stuff that you had. Oh man, I failed you, Dan. I'm so sorry. 
Uh, I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. Guys, I've showed a lot of PvP with me wrecking everyone. I got, I had to show this clip. This is me being a complete noob. I had the chance to show Dan my skills and I noobed it up hardcore. <laughs> oh man. So we go to the Shady Oaks because they took our flag and we're just waiting for them. There's nothing else for us to do. I mean, it's just a matter of time before they get here. But they took so long to come. They took like an hour, it felt like. So we're just derping around in Shady. I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh, man. So we're just waiting here. And this is when I show some more newbiness. I hit Dan on accident and he's got a dog and the dog wants to kill me. Oh, my God. What have I done? Guys, don't watch this. Turn away. Turn away. I can't watch. Turn away, guys. It's going to be ugly. Don't do it, Dan. No. It was my fault. He doesn't have to pay. It was my fault, Dan. Don't do it. Oh my god. I can't watch. I can't watch. Oh. 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 You didn't see that, guys. No one saw that. Do not call the Humane Society. It wasn't Dan's fault. It was my fault. We had so much time. We went and enchanted our armor. These guys took so long. We had time to go enchant. And Oh, man. What took so long? Oh. So that's the end of the game, basically. Like, 30 minutes later, they tell us that they're at the top. Game over. Guys, I'm sorry. This is a video showing you what not to do. I, we should have waited. We should have stayed on that roof and wait for the other teammate to come up and try to get the soul and then shot him with the arrow. Dan's a great shot with the bow. Oh, I mean, that we could have done a whole bunch of other things instead of charging in like Rambo. I was so stupid. I'm sorry, Dan, I failed you, but it was a fun game. <sighs> well, it was fun. I want to thank Dan Lags for playing with us. I want to thank everyone in the game, except for Gamer Meister. I don't think you're coming back, because I told you not to use cheap skins, and you did. I don't like it. So, everyone else, great game. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I hope to play more in the future with you guys. So, thank you for watching. Happy Minecrafting as usual. Peace.